So I brought these, uh, these four scutoids in order to show you how actually they look and how they pack together. Um, so the, the colors are actually the same that we use in the, in the paper and there is a reason for that because it's going to be easier to identify one of the nicest properties of scutoids, that is how they change neighbors. So like the image that probably people have seen the most, how they pack together, is this. So we have these two scutoids that are actually packing together very nicely. Now the thing is that the nice properties of escutoids appear when you start packing all together such that there are no spaces or gaps left. So here we have three of them, okay? And now we have one missing and that one missing will be this one. And then you have that they are all packed together without leaving any gaps. Now, as you can see, when you look at this surface, the blue and the yellow are not neighbors. However, when you look at that surface, the blue and the yellow are neighbors. And that is actually, and the same happened with the green and the red. Here they are actually neighbors, but here they are not neighbors. So is this packing that is actually making this very interesting because they are going to it changes neighbors, changes cell-cell communication, and these kind of things. Also, we like to, to, to mention that escutoids are going to appear when you have some level of curvature in the tissue. These escutoids are actually kind of reproducing some curvature in the tissue. If you have a tissue that is kind of flat, you will not see cells packing like this.